Hey guys, and welcome to APB Reloaded. Um, I know this is like a seven-year-old game, and I probably played it six or seven years ago on the PC, but it recently came out to the PlayStation 4. I don't know if it came out to the Xbox One. I haven't checked the store. Either way, you're probably not going to want to play this. Um, probably better off playing GTA 5 Online or Saints Row Co-op. But this is free, so it's might as well try it, right? Um, as far as I know, this hasn't changed at all since uh, the PC release. I'm sure they probably did some stuff, but it's the basic concept. You play as a criminal or you play as the law. And um, unlike, let's say, um, Grand Theft Auto or Saints Row, in this game, the cops and the criminals are all players. So if you get shot by the cop, it's a player. So it's kind of interesting. Um, there are different worlds. Um, I think right now there's only like two. There's like the financial district and the waterfront. Um, but there's like PvP where it's just, if you see a cop, uh, you can shoot the cop. If the, the cop sees the criminal, the cop can shoot the criminal and you die. Or there's the mission PvP where the cops and the criminals can run around the open world, no problems. But once you start a mission, then PvP is engaged and you can kill each other. Um... Which, even then, like, I've never ran into um, a cop during uh, our time with the PS4 version of APB during a mission. They've always seemed to try to shoot me outside of the mission while we're in a mission-based PvP uh, mode. So uh, no one actually uh, no one actually ever killed me. I, remember, I just, uh, if you keep watching, there's a video later on um, when we actually play the game where I'm just sitting there doing the clapping emote. Congratulations while this guy's trying to shoot me. Because he doesn't realize he can't shoot. Um, so anyway, we picked this... Uh, we just randomized the character because I don't feel like uh, messing around with the facial features too much. And we found um, what looks like uh, Misha Barton. So uh, we're going to stick with uh, her. Which is... Uh, it's really funny because... Uh, like if I just said, like, look, I made a character. Like if I made... Like I said, I made this to look like Misha Barton. You'd be like, holy shit, how'd you do that? This looks exactly like Misha Barton. Now, I don't know what she looks like nowadays. I'm thinking of, like, the 20-year-old Misha Barton. Like, <laughs> maybe 10 years ago. Probably when this game came out. Probably, um... Someone probably made this character model after her. This is kind of funny, actually, because it really looks like Misha Barton. If you don't know who Misha Barton is, it's just a Google search right now. Or Bing, or whatever you want to do. <laughs> just type in Misha Barton. M-I-S-C-A... C H A M I S C H A Misha Barton. She's an actress. But this looks exactly like her, I can't believe it. So we're definitely gonna name our character Misha Barton. Um Oh, that's a problem. So yeah, um the, the biggest draw to this game really is the character customization and your clothing customization. It's kinda like Forza. Um, how you can uh, customize the decals of your car. And yes, it is Forza. It's an Italian name. It's not Forza. It's Forza. Like pizza. Anyway. So you get a bunch of different shapes and designs like squares and triangles. And you can uh, mix and match and, you know, layers. And you can make whatever kind of design you want. Um, some people get creative with the text and stuff. I saw someone put like a YouTube logo on there and stuff. Um, you can mix it on your t-shirts. You can make tattoos. You can do that for your pants. Kind of like... Uh, I remember doing this in like what Skate 3. You can make like custom logos and decals or whatever. I know a lot of EA games have done this, and a lot of times it's been on like an EA website. Like I remember making mask on some Army of Two website um, way back when. That was actually cool. So the character customization is actually pretty, pretty decent. There's a lot of options. Um, you think there would be a little bit more for some things. Um, like, some options are only for the right arm, but you can't add them to the left arm for whatever reason. Which uh, we'll get into a little bit later when we look at, um, at the scars and stuff. But you can only have, um, like, cut wrist on your right arm, on your right wrist. And I was like, well, what if you're right-handed? Wouldn't you want to cut your left wrist? You can't have cuts on your left wrist. It's just, I don't know. Anyway. I, I want to say Misha has... Uh, like blue eyes like that. That looks... I mean, it really looks exactly like it. It's pretty crazy. Which, uh... Kind of makes me want to go and, uh... Watch the OC. 
but then I don't. Um, actually, I've been watching Iron Fist recently, and um, I said that word recently. Recently, <clears throat> I don't know if I like that show or not. Um, for a comic book show, there's a lot of talking, not a lot of action, but when there is like the five to ten seconds of a fight scene, it's not too, not too bad. But uh, I think it's probably Iron Fist probably picks up around like episode three or four. I think I'm on like episode eight now, but still, it's not too much. And you know, it's got the typical Marvel, Netflix Marvel trope where uh, Rosario Dawson is uh, the nurse and all the TV shows, all their, all their shows, so that's kind of fun. So if you haven't seen the other Marvel Universe, Netflix Marvel TV shows, watch them first just so you know who Rosario Dawson's is. Uh, but anyway, I can't even speak right now. It doesn't even matter. You guys know it by now. We're not even, why are we talking about comic books? Anyway, so this game, you go and you get thrown into uh, one of these worlds. I think you get stuck into the... Financial District uh, Mission PvP for the tutorial, and you can switch uh, whatever place you want to go. And you do all your char cu custom character options and stuff, like the tattoos and the clothing and all that stuff, like I said, uh, in the Social Hub, which is a separate place. And uh, it, it kind of reminds me of something like Second Life, where it's just a bunch of people gathered around, usually in like huddles, and uh, just talking. Like there was a guy just talking about sword art. Online and how you know he wanted a skateboard or how awesome would it be if there was a bike? You know the guy's like this game is so framey imagine being on a bike you couldn't do anything. And I'm like <laughs> exactly um, So see once you jump into um, the actual game um, It's I don't think it's lag, but I guess it's lag, but either way there's severe frame rate problems which um I guess is understandable. I mean, this game has been out for seven years on the PC, and I think it got canceled. I think it got shut down, didn't it? I don't remember. Um, I think it maybe you had to pay for it, and then they went free to play, uh, monthly pay. But um, it just came to the PS4, so maybe they're you know they're not used to the PS4 hardware and stuff. They're still trying to figure it out because I don't think it's lag because I've played other MMOs um, on the PS4 like Neverwinter, DC Universe Online, and Elder Scrolls Online, and Star Trek Online and you know all the online PC online games that they've ported to the PS4 and I've had zero lag or frame rate issues at all and it's very funny that I've gotten frame rate issues during uh, while playing APB because I was just uh, talking to a friend of mine who tried Elder Scrolls Online over the weekend because it was free for their third year anniversary or whatever and he was just having so much lag and I don't think that this game is lag it's just frames and it, it, was, it wasn't me, because obviously those guys in the social hub, even in the social hub, they were talking about the frame rate drops. So it kind of makes this whole game unplayable. You talk about an online shooter, the biggest thing that can affect you is a frame rate. Like, people on the PC would drop their graphical settings to, like, low or minimal, so they have a better frame rate. So when you're shooting people you can shoot them, or like, you know, in Call of Duty, if you have a frame rate low, you know, there's no bushes on the map, so that person hiding in the bush, you just see him and you shoot him, you know, things like that. But frame rate, it's just terrible. Not to mention the shooting isn't that great either. Um, it's third, third person shooting behind the back. Um, it's terrible, even just coming off of Mass Effect 3. I mean, Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, Mass Effect Andromeda shooting is a lot better than this. Not saying much, but... Um, Um, mess around with an assault rifle, pistol, and a sniper rifle. And the sniper rifle, at least I didn't figure out, There's, I didn't see the button. Um, usually you just scroll on the mouse wheel to uh, zoom in. But uh, there was no scope on the sniper rifle. I don't know if I just missed something, if there was a button press I needed to play, uh, push. But uh, yeah, there's no scope on the sniper rifle, so that was a little disappointing. That might be an upgrade or something, maybe a mod that you attach to it. But uh, overall, this game, the menus and everything is very not user-friendly at all uh, with a controller. I didn't try plugging in my mouse and keyboard to see if this game works with uh, mouse and keyboard. But I mean, honestly, the only game that actually worked with keyboard and mouse really on the PS4 was Final Fantasy XIV uh, A Realm Reborn. And that you even had to go into the settings. Because if you didn't change the settings in-game, I think by default... The keyboard just defaulted you to only use text chat, but you can actually, in Final Fantasy XIV, if you didn't know if you're watching this and you play that at the same time, 
if you plug in a keyboard and mouse, you just have to go into settings. Uh, in the Final Fantasy game settings, there's an option that'll actually uh, turn off. I think it just says, like, enable keyboard for texting or something. If you just uncheck that, then you can actually use um, WASD to move. And you can use uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, to whatever. You can use your hotbar with the keys, um, which made that game a lot more playable on the, on the computer, uh, the PS4. But I don't know if you can use that um, in this game. I've been meaning to try that with uh, Neverwinter to to plug in the keyboard and mouse and see if they work. Um, because I'd rather play that. But then it's like if, at that point I might as well just uh, turn on my PlayStation and log on. I mean, turn on my uh, PC and log into Steam and just play the games there. But um, yeah, playing this just is is bad. It's not. They didn't really improve anything from 2010, and um, it just made me want to play Saints Row three or four in co-op um, more than anything. Um, not so much GTA Online. It's just cause I guess GTA Online. I don't know. You get more gang stuff in Saints Row. GTA Online. There's there's some gang stuff, and you know when you're running with around with friends and stuff, it's fun. But um, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. If the frame rate was better, and I don't think it was lag because I've never had any problems with lag on uh, MMOs, like I've said, or online. Period. And the other guy, the Sword Art Online guy, was talking about frames, and the other guy was talking about frames too when he mentioned the bike. So it's not just me. I just think everyone playing this is having frame rate issues, which I guess makes sense. I don't know the player limit per world. Like if it's everybody in the North American server that chooses that, like one of four uh, maps, if they're all scattered between these just four, or if there's instances. I know, for example, uh, Neverwinter has uh, instances where uh, each instance has 45 players and that's the cap or at least at least in the town I don't know what the the max is outside of the town but the main town in Neverwinter Neverwinter um, there's a 45 player cap because I remember when I was trying to get a friend in we had to switch to another instance that had fewer people so we could both play at the same time um, but this isn't as transparent so I don't know what the instance or the server system is like other than you pick a North American server or a European server at the end of this. So maybe there's just massive lag because everyone's in the same. I don't know. But anyway, this it really looks like Misha Barton, like the the bony face, the eyes, the hair. This kinda makes me want to watch the OC and play Saints Row. This is that's what APB makes me want to do. Which uh, maybe I will download Saints Row 4. Saints Row 4 and 3 is, I think, the only game, well, not the only game, but uh, it's one of the few games that I've owned for the PlayStation 3, the Xbox 360, the PS4, and the PC, and played through them all. I've got the Platinum trophies, I've, I don't know how many trophies, like, I know, achievements I've gotten. I think I've gotten most of the achievements, too, because it's not, it's not all that different. But yeah, they're just they're just fun games, and you can just replay them and replay them and play them, and they're fun. You can make different characters and do different play styles, use different weapons, things for four, just different powers or whatever, co-op or not. But this, I just I wanted to be done with it after the, like an hour. It's just sad because this could be really cool if they made like a Saints Row or GTA Online, but like an actual game. Which uh, GTA Online, from the time it was released to now, is it is its own game. It could be like an MMO, really. It's well, for the massive part. Because what is it like? 18 players cap in a GTA Online in a world. 18 players, I think. Still a lot. But um, that's another thing. I didn't really mess around too much. Uh, but I don't know if you can create your own gang. I, I, you must. If you can create your own gang or whatever in a APB, I'm sure you must. I'm just changing the color just to see the different options. Um, I don't know if we're going to mess around with this too much. I don't really remember Misha wearing any makeup ever, so... Or if it is, it's all natural, so we're not going to do crazy stuff like this. But yeah, I don't know. This, yeah, like I said, this game could be really good. If, um... The frame rate, or just the lag, or whatever it is, just gets improved. Um, because it, it's an interesting concept, you know, the grouping is re really, really easy. You just hit ready and then you're automatically like, thrown into a group or you can just invite your friends and play in a group that way. 
And the missions, I mean, so far the missions haven't been too good. You know, just go over here, do some graffiti, pretend like it's getting up. Getting up is a good game. Mark Echo's getting up. The PlayStation 2 and Xbox or whatever, you know, that, that's a good game. You can play that too. If you just want to do graffiti. But the other ones is like defend this crate. Just go press square and break into this thing. But look, really, this looks like Mission Barn. I mean, come on. No? Is it just me? Is it just me? It looks exactly like her. Exactly like her. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. If they update it and if I see like an update, um, maybe if they improved it, I'll, uh, I'll come back to this and play a little bit more of it. But as it stands, I think we only played like an hour or a little over an hour, which uh, we'll see all that gameplay in the next video. So at the end of this video, you can just click on uh, the APB playlist. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Currently, it's deleted because um, it's like 20 gigs. So I'd rather have that space available for other things. Like near Automata that I want to grab now that I'm done with the Mass Effect Andromeda. And this Persona 5. <laughs> and then I just bought the Elder Scrolls Online... Um, Assassin's Guild and Dark Brotherhood Guild because they were on sale for like 8 bucks over the weekend. If I gotta do that, and that's uh, so much time. And in the back of my mind, I want to quit video games altogether. Ah! Instead, I waste my time playing this crappy game that I knew was gonna be bad, but you had to play it because it's free. Might as well. Can't, yeah, you can't really change. Oh, I should have changed this saw if there was a way to change eyelashes. I, I didn't pay attention to that, but. For a random generated character, though, it, it looks awfully like Misha Barton. The 20 year old version. I think I saw a picture of her recently and she, she gained some weight, I think. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. I'm I seriously I think I'm just after I, I'm done recording this video I'm gonna um, download Saints Row 4 re-download it <clears throat> I think I got platinum on both PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 I don't know if I did it on the I don't know if I got it on the Xbox 360 if I got a thousand gamer score I should check I should just see which uh, version I should play get stupid achievements or trophies or whatever Saints Row 3 didn't come to PlayStation 4, did it? If it did, I don't think I grabbed it. Could always replay it that way too. Now, speaking of those games too, I think currently Grand Theft Auto Online is the rarest platinum trophy I have with point, a 0.3% of rarity for the Grand Theft Auto 5 Online Platinum. I imagine it's just most of, most of those uh, online trophies. But luckily, I had a group of friends who all had the game, and we all did it. So it wasn't a problem. The single player stuff wasn't too bad. It was just, uh, what, uh, getting gold on all those missions? That was a pain in the ass. But other than that, it was pretty doable, right? I don't remember there being anything. And the money thing, if you didn't manage your money right... If you didn't do those Lester missions until after, like, the final mission, probably didn't get enough money to uh, get one of those trophies. But other than that, it was, it was a pretty easy platinum trophy. Not including the online, because online, you know, you got to actually do some stuff. You have to have a group of friends or like-minded individuals to get some of that stuff. But uh, that's a fun fact. The Grand Theft Auto V for the Xbox 360... I was playing that and I was doing all the collectibles and stuff and I was like, oh man, this is not fun. What am I doing? Wasting my time. And that's when I actually decided to stop worrying about trophies and achievements and then just like just play the game and have fun. And then, I don't know, probably like a couple months later or whenever the PlayStation 4 came out, I played on the PlayStation 4 and I was like, fuck it, let's do it. Got into a trophy thing again. But that's pretty much our character. I think we are done. 
Um, so let's name her Misha Barton. Oh, Misha Barton is taken, or you can't use spaces, so we're just going to name her Misha. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we actually get to play APB Reloaded. So click that APB playlist or any of those other playlists that are is on screen right now. And that will take you to another playlist of me playing through the game uh, of whatever game is there. And hit the subscribe button if you guys are brand new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.